This is a quick introduction so you know what's going on when you get to the lab. Here are a few notes to remember. Wash your hands before going inside. Put your lab coat on, your goggles, your gloves, and grab an atlas of anatomy as well. It will help you identify things as you go through this lab and other labs in the future. I'm going to simplify your objectives. You'll be identifying several muscles, bones, and nerves. If you want more detailed objectives, take a look at the checklist on Medical. Here's a list of tools you'll be using. Your handy scissors, scalpel, forceps, toothed forceps, and probe. Okay, here goes. I'll be using this cartoon cadaver to show you the steps for this lab. To start off, palpate the occipital bone, the spine of the scapula, and then the iliac crest. These will be landmarks for step two. And here's step two. Grab your scalpel and make a midline incision at the level of the iliac crest up to the occipital bone, and then make horizontal incisions to the mid axillary line. This next step is a bit tricky. Using your tweezers and scalpel, you need to separate the skin, superficial fascia, and adipose tissue from the underlying muscles, taking care not to damage the muscles and not to remove them along with the skin. Both the trapezius and latissimus dorsi are very thin muscles. Once you're done, you'll have created a total of six flaps, which you must open to reveal the muscles underneath. There's a video up next that will demonstrate this step. Using the toothed forceps, grab the corner of the skin for one of the flaps you've created and pull it towards you to create tension. Then, using the scalpel, separate the skin from the underlying fascia. Angle the scalpel blade so it is almost parallel to the cadaver rather than pointing it into the cadaver. It's worth noting that the thickness of the fascia and adipose vary depending on the part of the body you are working on so there will be more adipose near the occipital bone and iliac crest, and less in the center. Since these layers vary in thickness, you don't want to cut too deeply at once. Go layer by layer, first removing the skin, then the fascia, then the adipose. This way, you'll be less likely to damage the underlying muscle. Note that the muscle definition will vary with each cadaver. Let's start identifying muscles. Identify the trapezius, the one on the right, the one on the left, and the two of them together. Now identify the latissimus dorsi. Again, the one on the right, the one on the left, and the two of them together. On to step five. This is another tricky step. Using the back of the scalpel or your hand, Try to separate the lateral border of the trapezius from the underlying muscle. Literally, just try to stick your hand underneath the muscle. One thing to be mindful of is that there is a neurovascular bundle underneath the trapezius, so you don't want to be too aggressive so that you don't damage it. Now use scissors to cut along the medial border of the trapezius, but don't remove it entirely. You're doing this so that you can flip the trapezius up to see the muscles underneath. Flip the trapezius up and identify the following muscles. Levator scapulae, the one on the right, the left, and the two together. Rhomboid minor. Rhomboid major. Supraspinatus. And infraspinatus. Terra's major and Terra's minor haven't been drawn on this image, so I'm going to use this other drawing to show their position. Just to orient you, we're looking at the left shoulder region right now. Here is Terra's major, and here is Terra's minor. That's it! Please remember to spray the cadaver with the moistening fluid and dispose of any tissue that you remove into the white container underneath the table. 
Make sure to take off the scalpel blades and dispose of them in the sharps container. Take all of the instruments to the used instruments trolley, located by the entrance to the lab where you got your gloves and goggles. If you have any questions at any time during the lab, just ask a TA for help. If you want to practice identifying the muscles, visit clinicalanatomy.ca. Thank you. Let's take a couple of thank yous. Oh, mm, thank you. Not surprised, we were just on the level. Thank you. No more like that? Thank you.